We have an update to a story that might disgust you. The city council voted to move ahead with a toilet to tap plan, yummy, which will purify 15 million gallons of recycled water per day. And you know where it's recycled from, the toilet. The council made the decision to recycle water because a recent poll shows that 73% of San Diegans support the decision. Now that's poopy water. Well, you can't live without it, but do you know what's in it? I'd like to welcome our own local water expert, Roy Silver, to tap into the nastiness in your drinking water. Welcome to Primetime, Roy. Hi, Tyler, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming here, and I know it's short notice and you've made way for us, and I appreciate it, but this is so important. You know, we need a lot of water every day. We feed our mm -hmm. animals waters, but there's so many contaminants in the water we're drinking. Absolutely. And so let's educate, educate us on what we're actually drinking in our tap water. Well, um, you know, as you, water, as you know, water travels a long distance to get San Diego, because we have very little natural rainfall. And uh, one thing that we really don't know is what that water over the miles and miles that it travels to get to San Diego can pick up any kind of contaminant that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Pesticides, like any kinds of impurities going through landfills, yeah. you name it, seeps in the soil and down to the water. Yeah. Uh, the city then basically distributes the water to us. By the time we get the water, typically if you take the reading in San Diego, anywhere that has city water, this is not talking about somebody who may be on well water, that's a whole different story. But this being is city water. It's being on city water, the, on an average day, the TDS, which stands for the Total Dissolved Solids, is going to be Say around... Say that again, TD, what's it called? TD? The TDS, which stands for Total Dissolved Solids, and okay. that's a reading that anybody can do with their city water on any day, is going to be around about 400 but what million. does that mean? Break that down. What that really means is that's how many parts of impurities are in your water per million. 400 okay. parts per million are not good. Okay. And it can be a number of things, you know, just whatever the water's picked up along the way. It could be estrogen, it could be pesticides, pesticides absolutely. percentages. Yeah, it could okay. be, you know, animal, animal refuse, a a and anything. But why, why did they come up with a 400%? Why? Uh, what's 400 parts per million? Yeah. That's typically Sorry. the average for San Diego. Some cities are as high as 1,000. Some cities are as low as 50, but it, it really- 15? No, 50, five, 50. zero. Okay. Typically, the further up the north you go, the more natural rainfall you have, the better your water quality, just because you're not having to bring in water from other parts of the country and travel long distance. Um, so basically, you don't really want to be drinking that water just as it is. Right. Um, and most people that to get drinking water, even when you're buying bottled water in a store, the water has been processed through something called reverse osmosis, any decent water anyway. Yeah, and then it goes into plastics, and if the plastic is it PBA free, then you got other Absolutely. contaminants. Absolutely, that's a, yeah, that's, and it's not environment friendly at all. Right. Yeah, so the, the trend today is towards having your own reverse osmosis in your own mm -hmm. home like many people do, yeah. Well, you brought some tap water, and you brought a testing system mm -hmm. to test parts per million. We're talking contaminants. It could be poisons, pesticides. It could be, it could be prescription pills from somebody, you know, Flushing pills out of the Absolutely, toilet, it could be yeah. anything. You really don't know what's Gasoline you're... from the gutters, it could be anything. Uh, so we'll, we'll do a reading on, yeah. And this, and is, this just, is tap water? Yeah, this and is just pure tap water. Where did you get water. this tap water? Just straight out of the tap. Okay. Yeah, and it's just good City old- City water. San Diego tap water. And there it is, I don't know if the camera can see that. Let me see but the bit. reading is a 400 and what? Now it went back to zero. Oh, do it let's, again. Let's get it again. And then just when you hold it, st hold it still for them, can you pick that up? Can you pick that up? It's a, probably on 400 and something. Now it's switched to two. Now it's switching because I think it, you moved oh. out of the water. Okay. Okay, but we got it. So uh, four, anyhow, 416. 416. That's, that's so what what it's it higher than it should be. Yeah. Uh, now we'll, what does that mean to us? Let's well, break that down. What, what that means is there's 400 parts per million that are not good for you. Uh, you know, th any kind of contaminant that could and be in the water. it could cause cancer, it could cause Alz Alzheimer's, all kinds of yeah, disease. All kinds of things, yeah. yeah. So you really don't want to be drinking that. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you put it through a process called reverse osmosis, you know some minerals that are in the water may be good for you, but we really don't know which ones are, are, are in that are good for you. So you've got to really break that down and separate it. And reverse osmosis, what it does is it filters the water into two parts. The good water goes into a storage tank, the bad water goes down the drain. 
Okay. And it's a, f a process known as reverse osmosis. Does it keep the minerals that are good for you? Or? It will keep some minerals because some minerals yeah. are good for the yes. body. But you don't want all those contaminants. So what do you yeah, want to do? Because we put too much fluoride in our water now. Absolutely. So what you yeah. want to do is break that down and just keep you know, down to a minimum of what's really going to mm -hmm. be good because you need that water to be pretty pure to flush your body out on a, on a daily mm -hmm. basis. And you don't want those contaminants yeah. permeating your cell membranes. Yeah. And then so now I'm putting it into a reverse osmosis water and you can see that's now down to 20. That's good. Yeah, so you went from over 400 to yeah. 20. So if you work that out, it's a 95 plus uh, improvement. And what's left in there, those 20 parts per million will be actually be good for your body. You can get this down to zero with an additional filter of deionized water, but then the water really has no taste because you've left absolutely nothing in it. So some minerals are good for your body. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. So you're you're also the owner of a company, All Star Water Systems, and mm -hmm. um, you can go in and put you that you have. I know you do a lot of commercial work, but you go into homes as well and put water systems into that. Absolutely, yeah. and we is, we do both so commercial the and residential. Real quick, uh, this is a, a cutaway of a reverse osmosis system. And it shows the various stages that um, the water will go, whether you're doing this for commercial or residential purposes, or even on a really large scale for a bottling mm -hmm. plant, the process is the same. And it really needs to go through four stages. The first one is the sediment filter. Now, if you had this in your home, you wouldn't see what's inside the cartridge because mm -hmm. it's a sealed unit. Mm -hmm. This is purely for um, visual purposes, yeah. absolutely. This filter that go the water first goes through is a sediment filter. And I the way I explain that is this filter is going to catch anything that the naked eye could actually see if you were to look at water very carefully. After a few months, this filter that's ice white will be as brown as anything if you were to cut a filter oh open and gosh. see inside. You will not believe, when we take these out and we cut one open, you would not believe what comes uh, out well of there. It's we scary. got over 400%. Uh, yeah. What happens here? What happens here, that's a charcoal filter. That takes out a lot of the chlorine that's in the water and also starts to improve the taste of the water, not only filter. And they add chlorine, right? They're Absolutely, adding yeah. chlorine to try to kill contaminants. Absolutely, otherwise like you, know, bacteria and whatnot. you wouldn't want special? bacteria in your water yeah. for sure. Um, at that stage, it but then but goes... But chlorine is a toxin, folks. It's a poison <laughs> to your body. Go ahead. At that stage, uh, water is then going to go through a membrane. Mm -hmm. The membrane is basically, the way I explain it to people, is it's going to take out what your eye can ever, ever see in water. There are some things in water that are so fine that you could only see under They're a microscope. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the third stage where it basically separates the water. And the way I can explain to you is those holes in here are so fine that even the naked eye cannot see okay. it. And that separates the good water into a tank and the bad water down the drain. And then what's this one? This one is a second charcoal filter and this is what we call a polishing filter. This really gets the taste of the water to be as sweet as it is when it's yeah. been put through a reverse osmosis system. I've had system. that water, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. And that's basically... So when we go toilet to tap, which they're trying to make this move and mm -hmm. it looks like it's going to go through, could your filtration system purify the toilet to tap? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This <laughs> can take... That's so uh, gross, uh, though. <laughs> even, even if your uh, TDS was... If we were in a city that was at 1,000, mm -hmm. this would bring it down to about 20 or 30. Wow, because that's incredible. this will just not let anything come through do it. Off the top of your head, do you know which city has 1,000? Um, some uh, cities in Texas are up to 1,000. Really? Yeah. They got oil. They got bad water, Yeah, too. they got terrible water. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, and what about hard water, soft water? Is that a problem to have hard water? Hard water is a problem for your appliances, uh, mm. for your pipes and all that when it comes to the home. But with most people, it's actually, uh, from a health point of view, it's more on the exterior. It's what it does to your skin, to your hair. We sometimes have people that will call us and say, our dermatologist told us to get a water softener because our skin is so dry. And you would not believe what that does to people's uh, bodies. It's amazing. People experience it. They love it. They say that my hair feels great. My skin yeah, feels great. When I take a shower with soft water, though, I feel like my hair is not clean. <laughs> Maybe it, it, I'm used to it. it is clean. That's the difference. Yeah. And that's uh, sometimes people say, well, I still feel soapy. Well, that's because that's the water should be that feeling. It's not the soap. It's the way the water is. Is it more alkaline at that point than acidic? No, no, not at all. all no, no. Well, I could talk to you forever. But um, OK, let's pull up your website, All Star Water Systems. Uh, if you're interested in any osmosis or having just you come out there and test people's water. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, just to get your water tested is worth it. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Roy. Thank, thank you, Taylor. You nice knowledge. to thank see you. you so thank much. you so much.